Hello and welcome back to my channel, Jacob here. Uh, today I'm going to be talking about Clown in a Cornfield by Adam Caesar. Uh, if you're familiar with the book at all, um, it is a, sl a young adult slasher novel and is, I do believe, his first traditionally published book. Now the second book has recently come out, I have not read that yet, but I am uh, about to read it. I just picked up a copy yesterday. Uh, it is an ebook, so I don't have anything to hold up and show you guys, but I will try to put a picture of the uh, cover somewhere up here on the screen that way you can see it because it is a beautiful cover it's very eerie clown face kind of overlooking a cornfield um, basically everything you want in a slasher book especially a young adult slasher book uh, I'm not going to give away too many spoilers in this book because there is a bit of a twist there's a mystery and um, I definitely think it's one of those ones that's worth reading to get to because it does I think make the experience that much better when it does all click into place. Now, the book's main character, Quinn, her and her father, Glenn, have moved to uh, Kettle Springs, uh, basically relocating from Philadelphia after the uh, death of her mother. And they're gonna try to restart their life in kind of this quieter, uh, small town setting. Uh, Kettle Springs is known for its corn and basically its corn byproducts. Uh, once in town, Quinn falls in with Cole and his gang of friends who are kind of seen as like, kind of, I guess, more like the popular kids. But of course, there is a bit of controversy as Cole and his friends have like this YouTube channel and a lot of people in town, including the sheriff and many of the teachers feel like uh, their pranks go too far and in some cases are even dangerous. And there is a big almost uncomfortable authoritarian streak that runs through everyone in this town in regards to the children and teenagers in the town. It very much feels like um, Footloose, if you're familiar with that, uh, where there's almost a unspoken culture war happening behind the scenes. Um, and I think this is where some, of the, uh, some people have accused the book of being overly political. But, I mean, I would very much disagree with that because I think that level of young versus old politics, I mean, that's that's pretty tied into the slasher genre. Um, I mean, you want to talk about, like, the punk rockers and stuff and, you know, the uh, Friday the 13th movies or really anything like that. There's always kind of a underlying culture thing because I mean really slashers are basically the adults never realize just how much the kids are up to and then the kids get in trouble that's kind of at least my take has always been on the slasher genre well one thing I will say about this book that I really liked is the way the kills happen and the reason behind the kills it wasn't the stereotypical teen sneak off in the woods or in this case a cornfield to have sex and then are hunted down by a mass killer um it's very different from that and i will also say that once the kills start uh they're pretty brutal they're pretty graphic and i think they were a lot of fun i mean it wasn't just um uh, how do i phrase this they're very imaginative if you're a fan of slashers um, especially, I feel like a lot of slashers that I see on like Tubi and stuff like that, I'm not talking about like the big name ones, a lot of times they're just, it's almost just like watching a serial killer show, which is also cool, but the reason most people watch slashers is because you kind of want that ingenuity, you want the, you want the like, killing someone with antlers or something, because it's so wild and crazy, you're like, well that would never happen, and then it's a little less scary if that makes sense i don't know now i'm just kind of rambling but this book is a lot of fun uh if you like slashers if you like young adult books i definitely think you should check this out um if you're like me and you're kind of afraid of clowns you should definitely check this out because like i said there is a lot more going on it is kind of a mystery book because once the killings do start to happen um quinn and her friends who definitely feel targeted by the killings start to kind of unravel the mystery of why they were targeted in the first place. And the cool thing about Kettle Springs, or maybe not cool if you're experiencing it, is that it's one of those small towns with a whole lot of secrets. And 
I think the book does a very good job about not really spoiling the mystery, um, which is kind of a big thing for me because I like to guess <laughs> while I read or even while I watch movies. And sometimes it can almost be disappointing when you guess correctly because it almost feels like you've spoiled something for yourself. Whereas I felt like this book, it was a bit harder to kind of guess who was behind it. And I thought that was a lot of fun. Um, and yeah, I really enjoyed this book. I'm very much looking forward to the second book. Um, I really like this. Uh, I don't know if it's a trend, but I, you know, between... Uh, this book, Clown in a Cornfield, and Kill River, it does seem to be like there's some more young adult slasher books coming out, and I wouldn't mind seeing more of them. Um, I do know there are, obviously, adult slasher books, but it seems like there's not a lot of in-between. It it seems to be a lot more like uh, extreme horror, which isn't always my thing. I very much have to pick and choose between extreme horror, because extreme horror while it can be a lot of fun, does have some things I just don't want to read about, especially if I'm reading to relax and have a good time. You know, I, I would rather have a uh, PG-13 fun, campy slasher, so to speak, than like an NC-17 where a whole lot of bad things are going to happen to a whole lot of people. Um, but that's just me. That's not everybody. That's just my personal taste. So I do enjoy these like campy, teen-centric slashers, and I really hope to see more of them. Um, as someone that did read Fear Street, uh, you know, in when I was in middle school and uh, a little bit later, my teenagers too. It kind of reminds me of that, but it very much is what I wish Fear Street could have been because Fear Street, if you go back and read it, it very much is for a much younger audience than what I think it was marketed to, especially now in what we include as young adult literature. Um, but that's neither here nor there. Uh, Clown in a Cornfield, 110% read it. I think, and don't quote me on this, I do think that the film rights have sold, so... Um, there's a probably pretty good chance we're gonna get a Clown on a Cornfield movie, uh, which would be really awesome. Like, really, really awesome, especially now that there's a second book coming out because, I mean, that's the beauty of slashers is you want a series, right? So it would be kinda cool if we did get a Clown on the Cornfield movie series along with the books. I would, for one, absolutely love that. Uh, if you like slashers, if you like, um, bad things happening to teenagers in small towns, then you're definitely gonna love Clown in a Cornfield. I definitely think it's good too for, um, I mean, we're in September, so Halloween is quickly approaching. We are like 60 some days out. Um, if you're a weirdo like me and you count those, uh, you count that down. And you know, it is that time of year where the corn is high. If you're like me and you grew up in a rural community, you know, the corn's high. It's about that time of year they start cutting it and so you know it's very easy to get into the uh the book i guess is what i'm trying to say because if you've ever run through a cornfield um you can definitely relate to some of the things that happen in this book but yeah it it's a lot of fun i definitely think it's the perfect time of year to read this book um yeah you know go to your library go wherever i'll link it down below and you know also check out my review of the second book when i finish that it might be a little while because i am just starting to read it now and i'm leaving this week to go to blue ridge rock fest and i know i'm not going to get any reading done there so it might be a little while but i am going to do a review of the second book it is loaded on my kindle now so keep an eye out for that too and you know please let me know if you like this book didn't like this book uh if you know anything about the movie that may or may not be coming out um because i can't remember where i read that you know let me know in the comments uh if you know of any other like young adult slasher novels a hundred percent let me know in the comments i'm always looking for new books to read and as always please like and subscribe and i will see you guys next time